Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do exercise 3 for assembly modeling and it's going to be of this very simple little mechanism over here that spins and rotates like this and then it rotates all the other parts over here. Alright, so let's get in uh, into this exercise. Okay, all the parts in this exercise are going to be very simple, very easy parts. So let's get into exercise one. So part one. Uh, okay. Now, once we are in the 3D environment, choose sketch, choose our plane, and let's start sketching. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's close. Let's add some dimensions. This is going to be B forty eight. The diameter of this one is going to be fifteen. Here it's going to be 7.5. Okay. Eight watts. And this is going to be 55. All right. So now we're just going to do auto constraint to make sure that all our constraints are in place. Then we're going to exit and we are going to revolve our, our parts. Okay. So it's going to be 360. Keep it blue and we'll keep the same color. Now I want to add another sketch on this face and I want to add six holes, okay? Six hole PCD, right? I want to choose the center over there. And now let's edit our sketch over here. This is going to be diameter 80. This is going to be 15, all right? And 60 degrees, that's fine. So let's exit. And now we can extrude to the other side and remove. All right. Once that is done, let's add a chamfer here to the edges. And we're going to put it one millimeter. Okay. There we go. So our first part is completed. Let's just save it as quickly. Right, there we go. Assembly, exercise three, and part one. There we have it. Let's move on to part two. Okay, so let's move on to part two. New part, change the name here underscore two in again as i mentioned before this these are three simple parts so let's start sketching part two and add dimensions Five, ten, auto constraint. Make sure that everything is auto constrained. Let's change our color. Revolve three sixty. All right, now we're going to punch a hole using the hole feature through this part. There we go. We're going to choose it to go until the face. Diameter is going to be 10. We're going to remove what we don't need. And there we go. Let's add a chamfer here as well to all these parts. 
that should do it. All right, and this is our second part. Now we're going to do our third and final part, which is part three. Underscore part three, and it's very simple. It's going to, it's going to be a rod, basically. And right, so we're going to draw a line vertically. We're going to draw a line horizontally. Let's add some dimensions here. 150, 150. And let's give it a distance of five millimeters from the plane. Okay, that's good. And that's perfect. All right, so we're just gonna add a fillet to this rod of radius of 25. Let's exit. Let's choose a different color, magenta. Now go to the sweep rod feature choose the sketch you're going to say that the diameter of this rod is going to be 10 and let's add some chamfers to the edge all right okay and that is our third part that's done and we are ready for assembly all right, so let's create our assembly, all right? And I'm going to create two assemblies here, okay, in this exercise. So I'm going to call this exercise, assembly exercise three, all right? All right, and now I'm going to insert my first part. Just leave it here. Frame, so now we just this. Align this or this face over here. All right, there we go. Okay, now, now let's insert our second part. So two, and just, and let's. this over here like this for this face then create a pattern six by sixty correct all right and this will be assembly the first assembly all right, so be size three. There we go. Now let's do the other assembly, which will be the, the total assembly, the whole thing. So this will be exercise three, one. Okay, there we go. First of all, we're going to insert the other assembly that we did. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let's just start aligning this. This. Oh, 
of this it's going to be offset wait okay wait uh let's do this again this axis with this axis have it okay this face with this face and here we will add an offset of 80 there you go let's do another one same thing here Okay, so we have it. Now align this face with this face. And here we're going to activate again. The 80. All right, now. This can rotate. There we go. Let's insert the last part, which is part three, which is this rod over here. There we have it. Uh, a line. This one goes with this one. Let's flip it around. There we go. And then this face goes, let's say, with this face. All right, it wants to go there. Fine with me. All right, that's one rod done. Another one. Flip it around. there okay it's two so far let's move on to the next one There's two more to go. And the last one.
All right, and here we have our exercise three with this little mechanism over here. Okay, it's very simple exercise, nothing really um, complicated about this. All right, so you can try it uh, and you'll see that you'll, you'll find it to be very easy. Okay, and I know one of you have mentioned that the assembly can be done using 3D contact. Okay, that's true. However, as far as I know, and as far as I've been told, um, ZW3D does not have 3D contact yet. Apparently, from what I understand, they have several people have already asked for this feature and I don't know why they haven't come out with it already. All right. So hopefully in the future, they will have this, uh, this feature, which will be kind of useful and kind of cool in order to, 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 to make our assemblies. But as far as I know, and as far as I've been told, ZW3D doesn't currently have it. All right. So this is exercise three. I hope you enjoyed uh, this exercise and until next time.